What's up guys, The Panthers here and welcome to another episode of Ruin a Randomer. Um, it's currently 12 minutes past 3 in the morning and I've had no sleep for fucking days guys. Like literally, I've been getting like 3 or 4 hours a night, every night for about 2 weeks. No thanks to Japes and Jack. Um, just been up stupid hours playing uh, silly games with these guys. Oh shit. Um, take you two through my team before we get into what I want to talk about guys. Um, we got Wallison up front with Heskey. Um, I know you guys are getting bored of Heskey, but whatever. I enjoy playing with him. Dagoberto, Diego Souza or Suazo or Souza, however his name's pronounced. Marlos, Fernandinho, Marcio Azevedo, Leonardo Silva, Manuel Ilcinio, and Julio Cesar in goal. Um, got a lot to talk about. Um, I'm not going to play this guy, by the way, guys. I literally the reason why it's 3:13 in the morning and I'm playing you is because I'm uh, playing you, not playing you, talking to you is because I just started a ruin around them and it was against that guy and uh, I was three 0 up inside about 15 minutes and he quit on me. Um, so I've had to start the commentary again because I was halfway through some stuff I was talking about um, and. He quit and now I have to do the whole damn thing again because I didn't get out even close to enough what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I'm going to leave it a minute and see if we can't get a different opponent. Um, I never usually go back on things like that, but um, I, there's just no point in me playing someone again when I get, you know, and getting into a game. Let's go into a tournament for a change. Um, EA season ticket. I wasn't going to buy it. Um, I've decided I am going to buy it because... I couldn't. I didn't like. Once I heard Ultimate Team wasn't on it, I thought to myself, "What's uh, what's the point?" You know, um, I'd rather just wait until I can play Ultimate Team and carry on from there. But the simple point is, you can start playing clubs and use your virtual pro and um, start getting into your uh, league ten league season thing. Um, and I'm a massive, massive fan of clubs, uh, so I am looking forward to. Um, what am I looking forward to? Yeah, I'm looking forward to building up my virtual pro and uh, no opponents. Jesus Christ. I know FIFA 11 is dead, but this is ridiculous. Um, I actually had a period, I've been playing quite a bit this evening just without recording. I wish I'd actually done this commentary sooner because I've had a few cracking matches. Um, and I was playing, But I was playing a bit earlier, about like one o'clock in the morning. Um, and uh, I kept getting no opponents found then as well. So there's obviously a massive lack of people on. And it's, if it's going to be the same guy again, it's not. Okay, good. Um, I was going to say, if it, if it is that same guy again, I'll just play him. Because uh, what I would have done was just played him and then kind of just talked towards the end of the game just to close things up. So up against this guy, um, he's playing 4-5-1. Um, only 91 chemistry, which is good for me. Um but yeah, what I'm going to talk about, FIFA 12 in general, the, so I'm downloading the season ticket for that particular reason, um, and I just can't bear to have people playing the game and me not play the game when I can play the game. Um, and whilst I'm actually doing this commentary, my download is currently at around 84%. So if the download gets to 100%, um, by the time I finish this game, you're not even going to know this game exists because I'm going to do a... Um, I'm gonna do uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do a ruin a randomer on um, on FIFA 12 instead. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I did actually manage to get that. So, um, yeah, you may well not know this exists, which will be really annoying because then I'll be up till like four again in the morning, and uh, I could really do without that kind of stuff today. Um, however, guys, if you follow me on Twitter, um, your legends first of all, um, and if you know, you're legends anyway, but you're double legends if you follow me on Twitter. Fuck me, the foe has got a little bit of pace on him there. Um, that should be... Oh, wow, he's cut that back. Thank God they fucked that up. Um, yeah, if you... Uh, oh, Dagoberto. Oh, go on, my son. Oh, get it. Yeah, keep going. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that would have been an epic skill run. I actually had a skill run with Dagoberto in my live stream last week that was um, incredible, but I missed just at the last, the last trick, the last guy tackled me. But um, yeah, so if you follow me on Twitter, you will know I was at the Emirates today, um, and boy, am I glad I went. Um, 
which is why my voice sounds a little bit hoarse because I was screaming my fucking nuts off, guys. It was a, uh, the first half was a bit uh, a bit iffy. Like we really struggled to put any any moves together. Bolton looked uh, looked threatening. Um, it was a very even half of football. Um, and then in the second half, uh, we stepped it up a notch. You know, Van Persie scored within 40 seconds of the restart, which kind of settled the nerves. Um, and uh, after that, uh, Bolton then went and got fuck off. Uh, Bolton went and got a red card, um, which I thought it was just a clash of legs. Like at the game, it looked like Walcott just run a, run across him and uh, kind of took himself down like a typical striker move to get a foul. Um, but uh, I've been told that apparently he got pulled down, um, so it was a deserved red card. So um, you know, after the red card, it you know it changes the game, um, obviously. And uh, we just went and pushed on after that and uh, wrapped the game up 3-0. Could have scored a few more goals. Walcott missed a one-on-one. Um, oh, well, it Marlos. Uh, not Marlos. Um, what's that, Manuel? Um, yeah, Walcott missed a one-on-one and a few other sitters and then ended up going off injured. So that was a bad point to, uh, to the game. Um, but, you know, injuries happen. It's whatever. Hopefully he's not out for too long. I haven't actually read BBC News recently to find out how long it's going to be. Um, but hopefully it's not too long. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that win for us against Bolton, who is one of our bogey teams, you know, um, it's just real nice to beat them and convincingly. And it should give the, give, the, give the Arsenal team a solid amount of confidence to go on and win a couple more games. And, you know, we're only... Uh, we're only uh, three points behind fifth place Liverpool right now, so all is not that bad. You know, um, it's been made out to be a terrible start to the season, which it has been. I'm not doubting that by any stretch of the imagination. But the fact we're only three points behind fifth place, um, well, like it could be different by the time you're listening to this because there's some Premiership games on the Sunday, and I'm uh, recording this obviously on Saturday night. So you know, if if results go any other way, we could be a few a few points away from fifth. We could be like five or six points away. But um, as it currently, as the table currently stands, we are, yeah, we're three points away from fifth place, which is, you know, awesome. Really, um, it could be a lot, lot worse. If we would have lost to Bolton today, we would have actually been bottom of the table, and that would have been catastrophic. Like, but the like the best thing that came out of today's game was the fact that Van Persie scored his um, his 99th and 100th Arsenal goals, and Van Persie is like a true Arsenal legend. He loves this club so much. And in return, we love him back. Um, but I'm going to get off the uh, the subject of Arsenal now because obviously you guys don't don't come and watch my videos to listen to me babble on about the the club that I support. So um, what are we? Oh wow, he's just done me there. What a tackle! Um, yeah, what else is going on? The Brasilvas list was um, dropped in by Japes, not Brasilvas. The five star skill list. Um, oh Hesky, oh Hesky, um, yeah. Japes made a video about the new five star skill players, and there's some really interesting players in there this year around. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's uh, it's on Japes' channel, and if you don't know where Japes' channel is, you can find him in my um, channel box on my channel page. Um, oh, he's going to be offside. Um, yeah, so there's obviously we've lost a lot of Brasilvas, guys, because people. I'm going to run you through the players that aren't Brasilvas anymore for one reason or another. You've got wallison has been moved to a gold and is now a five star gold skiller. Um, Fernandinho is also now gold, but he's also not a five star skill player anymore. Um, that's also true to uh, Dagoberto. He's been moved to a gold and he's been uh, put in his rightful position at centre forward. Um, and he's also no longer five star skills. Um, oh fuck! I'm really just not getting hold of this at all. This game. Um, and uh, Ilsenio is also gold, um, and it's also been moved into his rightful position, which is a centre attacking midfield. So um, it's all a bit change. And because of that, oh, hey ref, come on. Yeah, because of that, we lost a lot of. Um, a lot of Brasilvas, but they've replaced them with some. Uh, the most notable for for some of you guys is um, like Carlos Alberto and Lincoln, who are now is that his free kick? That's ridiculous. 
who are now um, five-star Brasilva players, and they were two players that I used a lot in um, Ultimate Team last year, so it's actually really nice to see them as Brasilvas because it could be a very, very different dynamic to the game with those guys as silver players. Um, but we've also got a few new Brasilvas. Um, there's a left wing who's rated 69 and plays for Levante. Um, there's also a right wing, I can't remember his name, but um, he plays for Palmeiras. And uh, I haven't seen him in the PlayStation 3 market since the, like, the day the web app was put up. So it's, um, I don't know how rare he really is. Like He must be super, super rare. Um, because like I said, I haven't found him at all. Um, oh, fuck off, I did the trick. You guys would have even heard the control in the, in the background there. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be super rare. I've only seen two of him on the Xbox markets. Um, so he's a, he's a very rare player. But there's also another Brazilian right winger, which is Danilinho, who was a centre forward, if you remember, in FIFA Ultimate Team 11. But he's been moved to his rightful position in 12, which is a right wing. Um, so that you know, we've gone from having no Brasilvas on the right wing in FIFA 11 to having two in FIFA 12, which is nice. Uh, but obviously we've only got the one still um, left winger, which is this 69 rated guy. Um, and Marcio Azevedo is still the is still a five star skiller and is now the only five star defender. Um, so uh, for those of you that like to use both the defenders on the wings, as I know I did, let's try and lob the keeper here. Oh, almost. Um, yeah, we're only going to have the one on the wing now. So and let, like the only thing you'd be able to do is uh, to try and get those two wingers still like that is actually um, because there's two right right wingers now you can actually turn one of them to a right midfielder and just play him at right back and uh, do it that way this guy is just such a cheap little bastard um, but obviously they won't have perfect chemistry if you do it in uh, in that manner which is important to most people it's more important for me to have chemistry for sure than it is to have a five star skiller at right back um, so I've actually got Cicinho as my right back because he's got 90 pace and I actually want to talk about the pace aspect of the game because uh, just want to, oh, thought I would have blocked it off with the run, but um, yeah, pace. A lot of people seem to be complaining about uh, the fact that some players have got like ridiculously low pace, but I think the reason why it's been done this way is simply to uh, yeah, I understand. I just called him cheap for doing that and then did it, and I missed. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, people like Van Boyten and Mertesacker who have got terrible pace is because. At the moment in FIFA 12, if you've got a player with like 90 pace, you won't necessarily notice much of a difference. Um, wow, what the fuck am I doing? Why didn't I just go and put that in the back of the net? Wow. Um, that was just ridiculously bad. I apologise. Um, oh, I didn't even pass it there. Come on. Um, yeah, it's because at the moment if you get... Uh, what, is that not a free kick ref? Come on. Um... Hold on, sorry guys, just losing my train of thought here. Yeah, if you get like an 85 pace player um, or a 90 pace player in uh, FIFA 12, you don't really notice the difference too much. Um, whereas in FIFA 11, you would have noticed it quite a considerable amount. Um, so what they've tried to do is obviously just make there be a minimal difference in the pace um, for players that are actually close in pace rather than making, you know, like a 90 pace player just really, really overpowered. Um, We'll have a penalty there. Um, so, like, the only way they could have counteracted having the, the actual pace difference, like, if you put, say, Walcott and Mertesacker together, Walcott in real life is obviously going to dominate him for pace. And the only way I think they've found to do this is simply to, uh, oh, he's fucking saved it. That is unbelievable. Um, it just really doesn't seem like it's going to be my game. Um, but yeah, so the only way they've found to counteract this this kind of pace difference is to simply put people really low, low pace, um, which I think is a, a, a smart thing to do because it it will kind of it kind of stops pace abusers because uh, come on Hesky, um, oh wow, Jesus Christ, um, yeah, like your your massive pace pace players before are no longer really. Uh, that's got to be a goal. Thank fuck for that. Um, yeah, no longer really that 
that impressive. You know, like you could have a, a 90 pace striker against an 80 pace defender um, and really not notice a difference all that much, which is awesome from many, many people's perspectives, you know. Um, also, guys, uh, just to let you know, I've been partnered with Yausch, uh, which I am immensely grateful for. Um, Yausch are a great company, and I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of work with them. Um, but through Yausch, you get automatic YouTube partnership. So you guys would have seen a, um, a advert at the start of this game, and uh, that is because I am now a YouTube partner. I know a lot of you guys have been talking about this kind of thing for a while and asking why I'm not partnered and all that uh, all that bonanza but um, I am now partnered uh, it's just one of the benefits that comes with being a Yaush director um, but uh, you know I wasn't gonna say no like please believe me when I say I do not do this YouTube thing for the money I do it for the love I've been doing it for a year solidly now um, uploading regularly and um, you know, I've this. I've only just got partnered, so you can hopefully understand that I do do this because I just enjoy doing this. Um, wow, I thought I'd get a free kick there. Um, so I'm not going to change any aspects of what I do or anything. It's just going to be uh, Heskey lobbing the keeper. No, uh, yeah, it's just going to be me doing me still. Every, everything's going to remain the same essentially, except you're going to have to watch, hopefully not that fucking Jensen Button advert anymore, but you know, you're going to have to see an advert at the start of my video. Um, but I thank all of you guys for this opportunity, you know, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here, you know, like you subscribers and the thing, the things, the people that drive me to continue doing this, um, because it, it's fun for me and I, like, when it stops being fun for me, I'll stop doing it, um, because I, I've seen a few YouTubers, uh, a few YouTubers that still do this, um, for monetary reasons, not necessarily FIFA guys, um, but just YouTubers in general, um, and uh, that's really not what I'm about. So when it when it doesn't become fun for me anymore, I will stop doing it. Um, but you know, I play video games as a passion. Like I love playing them. I've been playing video games ever since I was I don't know like ten years old, nine years old, playing Streets of Rage on the Sega Mega Drive, and uh, you know playing Mario on the the Nintendo Entertainment System, um, one of the first systems I actually ever had. And uh, like I just don't see. A point in time where I would ever really stop so um, it's like I don't yeah like I don't think I will I'm gonna be stopping anytime soon so I'm not saying this to kind of scare you guys into thinking that oh no maybe I'm stopping doing YouTube videos I'm really not um, I'm enjoying this immensely and like it means nothing different to me like I will be playing it anyway so like there's no reason why I shouldn't necessarily make a video because it, it's like minimal added effort to do something like this and um, when I'm already playing the game anyway and I'm like literally fortunate that I've got such a great following of people, you know, because there's many guys out there that also do this for the love um, and put out good content that don't have the amount of subscribers that I have, and they like they genuinely deserve uh, deserve a lot better from their channels. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice here. Like I really, my voice is so hoarse, and and because I'm tired as well. It's a, yeah, so um, I'm just really, really fortunate that you, you guys choose to watch me, you know, so I thank you, each and every one of you, for all the support you've ever given me. Um, is that full time? Fuck me, that went quick. That was, the uh, game's finished 1-0, guys. Um, I've got a lot more to talk about, so I'm going to upload another episode tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a FIFA 12 episode, and I'm going to continue saying what I was saying here. Um, so, as always, guys, I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. It means so much to me. Um, apologies for not uploading too much recently. You guys know the sub boxes were fucked. Um, and then on top of that, uh, I had like a bit of a heavy weekend with the uh, casino and whatnot. And uh, then I actually made a video that I was supposed to upload today, but I rendered it wrong and it was just unwatchable. Um, so apologies, this is like the first video in five days and only the third in about 10 days. So I'm just gonna show you before we go, Heskey's uh, goals to game ratio, 78 goals in 71 games is pretty epic for 1500 coins. But for now, guys, I thank you very much. Um, I will see you tomorrow for sure. I'm going to upload a video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.